Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can go from an image like this. Again, this image is generated by AI to an unzoomed image like this, which is again generated by AI. We're going to be using Leonardo AI uh, in order to do this generation. So you can see I generated a bunch of samples. So I started with something like this and then I generated an image that was a bit unzoomed. And then I did one more final generation that was way unzoomed than the original generation itself. So for this, we're going to be using Leonardo AI again. And if you haven't used the Leonardo AI, check out my tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI in the description. But in order to do this, the there are two ways. First is Canvas, where you can add blocks and then generate relevant uh, data in the block itself. Second is AI generation method, which is way easier and more accurate than the Canvas method. So I'm going to be teaching you how to use the generation method. It's pretty simple. So you to try it out, we're going to be trying it out on a valley, fairy tale, tree house, village covered, matte painting, highly detailed sort of an image, which is more like a fairy tale tree house of sorts. We're going to be using RPG 4.0 model. So you can see the image is now generated. I, I'm going to pick either of these images and take it forward from that point. So I think this one looks good and a bit challenging. So I'm going to take this image. You can now remove the background in order to kind of focus on the real subject or you can do a creative upscale. You can also do image alternative. The upscale is resulting in the uh, upscale is kind of causing removal of the details. Regardless, let's try the unzoom effect, which is something that we're going to be trying in this video itself. So what it will basically do is it will remove the, it will automatically give the mod, this image an unzoomed effect. So you see the original image was this. And now the unzoomed effect looks like this. But how do you unzoom even further? So in order to do that, just download the image. And now as a next step, what, what you have to do is go to the same uh, page. Don't change anything here. Scroll down and upload the image again. And this time uh, ensure that you improve the init strength, which will ensure that the image integrity is maintained. And Ensure that the image that you uploaded is the unzoomed image uh, that you want to unzoom even further, right? So now that you do that, let's click on generate again. And this will generate two more variations of the image, but it will not change the details of the image, image so much because kept our uh, innate strength to very high. Same image is generated again. Obviously, you can change it to one and you can upscale if you think you're happy with this image or you can go ahead and click on unzoom image again. What this will do is it will create another variation of the image that is unzoomed even further. You can see that this is not a generation that we expected. So what all you have to do is just choose the other image and try the same thing. Okay, this version looks way better than the previous one. So in, if you want to unzoom even further, do the same thing again. Click on download image, save the image to your computer and then go ahead and do the same thing again. Delete the image from your, take the new unzoomed image. Nothing else changes, just try and generate again. Ensure that you're generating more than one samples because sometimes the unzoom effect is not working as expected. It'll generate some bad results, in which case you can try it on another sample to see if that works. Even that this is still in beta, we'll have to keep this in mind. Let's start with the second image this time. Again, the process is same. You can click on unzoom effect here. It should hopefully unzoom the image even further without really impacting the quality. Yeah, looks like this is broken. Let's try one more. Sometimes when the model is unable to unzoom the image uh, furthermore, it basically means that it is not able to generate beyond the initial unzoom itself. So you can see at this point, it's not going uh, any further. So it looks like this is going to be the original image here is probably going to be our final generated output. Let's compare it with where we started. So we know where we are now. Let's open the very first image. We started with this. And this is where we are. So way better. You can see the original image the original image started somewhere here, but the unzoomed Im image kind of came back two times. Uh, clearly, I had did something like this on this, something like this on this image as well. You can see it came two X behind two. That, and that's also something that I've noticed that beyond two X, it kind of starts uh, generating bad outputs. 
but yeah i think this should be enough at this point what you can do is you can go to ai ai canvas and then play around with the, the same prompt in order to do this and that's all i kind of wanted to show you guys uh, through the video itself if you think this helps i hope this helped thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one